A man faked his own death with the help of police after discovering that his wife had hired a hitman to kill him. Now that is some messed up shit. Welcome back to What's Trending, I'm Shira Lazar. Be sure to like this video and subscribe for more insane stories from around the web. Nearly half of all marriages end in divorce, but divorce can be a long and slow process. Maria Delorda Sosa was unhappy with how long it was taking to divorce from her husband, boxing coach Ramon Sosa. So she decided to have Ramon killed. You know, totally normal. The Sun reports that Maria unknowingly approached one of her husband's friends named Gustavo to organize a hit on Ramon. I knew him because I'd coached him, Ramon said. At first when he called and said he needed to see me because someone wanted to kill me, I thought he was joking. Ramon had little reason to suspect that his wife wanted him dead. I mean, people joke about that when they're divorcing or breaking up, but you don't actually do it. But it wasn't always like this. When Ramon first met Maria, he fell in love with her hard. The 15-year-old divorcee would brag to his three children that he had found the woman of his dreams. A 47-year-old personal trainer named Maria, nicknamed Lulu. Ramon described their relationship saying, she would give me manicures, pedicures, and foot rubs. She would rub oils onto my back and treat me to massages. It was paradise, and my friends were jealous. Well, yeah, I'd be jealous too. I want that. Hint, hint, boyfriend. And things were great until the gym Ramon owned began to struggle. And the financial strain meant the couple had to live together under the same roof during their divorce. That's when Ramon got the chilling call from his friend Gustavo. And the two men then came up with a plan to record Maria planning the murder. I mean, this is like a Dateline story mixed in with a telenovela. In the recording, Gustavo pretends to know two hitmen. Gustavo and Ramon took the recording to the Houston police, who came up with a ridiculous sting operation. Ramon said, they asked me to pretend to be dead so we could show the pictures to Lulu. And that's exactly what he did. Police helped Ramon fake his own death at the hands of hired hitmen. Undercover police posed as the hired killers and recorded their conversations with Lulu. She offered the hitman $4,000, jewelry, and Ramon's truck. Sounds like a great deal. And she paid half the cash up front and promised the rest later. $2,000 is barely enough to put down a deposit for a Hollywood apartment, let alone a contract killing. But hey, you gotta do what you gotta do, I guess. Then, with the help of makeup artists and forensic experts, police made Ramon look like he had been shot in the temple and left dead in the desert. He says lying in the dirt pretending to be dead was terrifying. When I first met Lulu, I certainly didn't expect our relationship to end like that, you think? And then Ramon hid in a hotel while the photos were shown to his wife. This just keeps getting weirder and weirder. I mean, I totally would watch this series on Netflix. Ramon tells ABC News, when I saw the video of her, when they showed her the staged photos of me dead with bullet in the side of my head, she giggled and laughed like she hit the lotto. What a raging evil b****. Ramon has thankfully moved on and is now in a relationship with someone new and hopefully not as crazy. He also says the experience has changed his life forever. He continues, it would be wrong to say this hadn't had a lasting impact on me. I'll never be the same man again. Yeah, thinking you're gonna be murdered by your ex-wife and then staging your murder, that could change someone. Maria then pled guilty in court and is now serving 20 years in prison. And you can find her story in a new character thread on Orange is the New Black. While this all happened in 2015, the photos in the sting have just been made public and have caused quite a reaction on social media. Accuracy tweets, LMFAO, no real hitman is doing work for 2K. She played herself. Spartan writes, this man living in 3017. And at Keelan the model simply jokes, gone boy. Ah, uh, yeah, I get it. This is a movie gone girl. So you might be asking, why go through the trouble of faking the photos when they had enough evidence perhaps to actually arrest her? But prosecutors say it's about getting as much evidence as possible. So they went in deep. Assistant District Attorney Kelly Blackburn tells ABC News, you want to try to take it as far as you can because you want to show the true intent of this person was to make sure that their spouse or their boyfriend or their business partner was dead. For more of the craziest stories around the web, be sure to like this video and subscribe for more of What's Trending.